Sport. Endurance. Perseverance. These are the qualities that breed champions and forge heroes. Their dedication inspires us to push our own limits and take on new challenges. The best athletes commit to bettering themselves every day. And for these athletes, the playing field is fertile ground to dream and to realize their dreams. And where their victories and defeats are shared with others. To play is to galvanize communities, to invest in our children's future. Sport fosters the skills needed to create spirited leaders, conquering fears, expanding limits, and building community. Sport is the catalyst for change in the lives of all who play. The kind of change that makes the world a better place. And it starts here at Doha Goals. Welcome to the 2014 Doha Goals Forum. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, uh, please welcome the Chief Executive Officer of Doha Goals, uh, His Excellency Sheikh Faisal Al Thani. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, peace be upon you, your highnesses, your excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, dearest guests. I'm so happy to have you here with us in the third version of Doha Goals. We are meeting once again to show the world that we believe in sport as a catalyst of change. We meet today and we are more mature and we want to go on with the discussions and the analyses of the workshops in order to get the best of your initiatives and come up with the best solutions. The first or the second version was full, was pregnant with meanings and with proposals and initiatives. And uh, last, uh, in the last version, there were uh, about 20 ministers of sports. Uh, and they have discussed the importance of uh, sport uh, in economic uh, growth uh, and uh, to bring more integration among the people in this version. It is the version that uh, can be described as the version of putting into practice the initiatives. You will see with us uh, how many projects we were able to put into practice, uh, and that emerged from the initiatives of last year. Last year, we chose some projects, uh, and we, make, we, we made the selection of, uh, of the most fruitful and beneficial uh, proposals and during the last months uh, we did our best uh, in order to put them into practice uh, and uh, we wanted to tell the world that these are not only verbal initiatives so uh, the initiative uh, of uh, the stadia of uh, Doha goals uh, was uh, at the forefront of our uh, interest uh, uh, because uh, a building stadia might help uh, people polish uh, their skills, especially when it comes uh, to the youth. So uh, the Doha Goals uh, built uh, three stadia in Argentina, in Palestine, and Gabon. And we are so happy that the representatives of the Doha Goals are very happy to have put into practice the initiative of a Global Watch, which, 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 which complements the notion of fair play because we are all against racism. There should be no racism in sport. A Global Watch. The initiative was made by Mr. Tokyo Sinali, 
and he was one of the most important uh, speakers last uh, season. And uh, his uh, initiative was embraced and uh, welcomed also by the United Nations. There is no room for racism uh, in sport. And uh, there is also another initiative which is closer to individuals than uh, groups, uh, but it is uh, very emotional and sensational. We talk. <coughs> There is uh, the initiative uh, that uh, provides provides uh, ah, okay okay that uh, that uh, provides uh, the uh, people with a special uh, with a special who are physically inadequate and who are physically disabled uh, with the facilities and the tools uh, to make uh, them practice uh, to practice a sport and uh, we agreed with Stephen Hoodle. And with, and with the ambassadors of Paralympics to bring more ideas and to serve as the ambassadors of this project. We have, also, we have always said that Doha goals, uh, the Doha goals pay a lot of importance to economic growth and social stability by bringing uh, many sports events and activities. We have been uh, now our we have been doing this for three years now, but we have now many partners uh, and so many people are attending uh, the Doha goals in order to bring uh, more initiatives and to see if we are putting into practice what we are saying uh, with words and deeds. And uh, I have also to draw your attention to uh, the Qatari Olympic uh, Committee that uh, will uh, host uh, many ambassadors from different world, uh, and uh, we will have training sessions uh, for uh, so many people to polish their skills as leaders. Also, we will coordinate uh, effort uh, with our colleagues uh, for, from, uh, from the Aspire Zone uh, to challenge uh, the effects of malaria. And here we coordinate efforts with the Academy of uh, Lionel Messi. And and we are uh, thinking about many other initiatives uh, with uh, the best renowned sports experts. And uh, <clears throat> the program of uh, the student ambassador, and this emphasizes the importance of uh, young people. In 2012 and 2013, we invited uh, 400 students, and those served as our ambassadors, and they were so happy to be with us. And in most of the cases, they just passed the, uh, the ideas of Doha goals to their colleagues. And that was a very important thing, because they shared their ideas with their uh, mates and with their and I have to greet uh, the student ambassadors, and I have uh, to greet uh, all the student ambassadors who came from all over the world uh, to attend the Doha Goals uh, in Doha. This is a valuable opportunity for them to learn and uh, to help uh, uh, and uh, to pass what they have learned to their colleagues and to their friends and to their classmates uh, in their uh, countries. So they have to take into account that they are here in order to learn, in order and in order uh, to encourage them. At the end, I would like to greet everybody, and I would like to thank everybody, and I would like to say that this is only the beginning. We are looking for a more comprehensive. Uh, a more, a more comprehensive attempt. We would love to see a better, a better performance, a better discussion, and this should help serve as a catalyst for change. And this shall motivate all our partners to encourage the sportsmen and sportswomen, ladies and gentlemen, dearest guests. Thank you very much for listening to me, and welcome to Doha. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now welcome the Chief Executive Officer of Aspire Zone, Mr. Khaled Sulaitin.
In the name of God, the mercy for the compassionate. Uh, peace be upon you, ladies and gentlemen, your highnesses, your excellencies. Mr. President, uh, distinguished guests, I'm so happy to welcome you to Doha. I'm so happy to welcome you in the Aspire Zone. Today, we declare the Doha Goals version 3 open. And years after years, Doha Goals have proved to be a successful initiative undertaken by us. We believe in sport as a catalyst of economic growth and social change. We are so insistent on the fact that sport is the best way to keep ourselves healthy. And it is also the instigator of change and the instigator of creativity. We are doing this within the framework of the leadership of our highness, the Emir. First of all, in 2012, it was thanks to the father Emir, Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani. And this is also being embraced by his highness, Tamim bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani. So uh, these uh, are the Doha goals. Uh is the minaret, or it is the Mecca where we all, where all the football, uh, sorry, where all the sportsmen and sportswomen meet here in order to develop ideas and to put uh, some initiatives uh, on the table. Most uh, of paramount importance to us uh, is uh, to improve the social conditions of people in uh, the developing countries uh, and uh, in every part of the world. This is the third time we are meeting together and during the last two versions, we have uh, proved uh, that uh, the doable is uh, possible. And uh, we have been able to show uh, that uh, Doha goals could be a reference uh, for all the initiatives. And uh, we had achieved. Uh, we in Aspire, we uh, provided our students with the right infrastructure. And that uh, resulted uh, in uh, the national team of youth uh, winning the Asian uh, Cup uh, for football. This is uh, reminiscent of the fact that uh, when you treat people well and when you polish their skills, you uh, reap the harvest. Uh, and you do this based on the latest uh, technologies uh, and, uh, the, uh, and to embrace uh, the tenets of scientific development. We are also so happy to tell you that uh, our champion for the high jump, Mataz Barsham, won so many medals. And this is a very good example of how Aspire can result in champions when you know how to polish the skills of our students. Added to that, we have now one of the best sports hospitals in the world that goes under the name of Aspitar. And Aspitar now has become the mecca of the most famous footballers and sportsmen and women who come here to have surgeries and to cure themselves from from different uh, things, you know. And uh, we also are happy to tell you that Qatar is hosting many sports events, no matter what the sort of or what the sort of this event is. So in order to do this, you should be able to have something like a spire zone, and you need to have the encouragement of the leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope uh, the best of luck for Mr. Uh, for for His Excellency Sheikh Faisal bin Barak Al Thani and Mr. Richard Atias, and I hope the best stay for you all. سيدتي سادتي دعونا نرحب بالمدير التنفيذي لمنتدى أهداف الدوحة ريتشارد أتيس Your Highness Sheikh Jassim bin Ahmed Al Thani Your Excellency Ali Bongo Dimba President of the Gabonese Republic Your Excellency Prime Minister of Qatar Excellencies, ministers, ambassadors, welcome to the third edition of Doha Goals.
I would like also to welcome our 400 students. Are you here? Ah, okay. I thought you disappeared. This summer, the cameras were on Brazil. As you know, they hosted the World Cup. After criticism and concern that the country would not be ready, they hosted a tournament that lived up for expectations for everyone, apart maybe uh, English, Italian, and Spanish supporters. But now, the challenge is on for Brazil to keep its promises, to show that the legacy of the World Cup is grounded in economic benefits for the football, from the football pitch to the favelas. And just as we hold Brazil accountable, so we should in turn look to ourselves here at the Doha Goals Forum. What have we really achieved in three years? Well, from the time we launched the Doha Goals Forum at the Olympics in London in 2012, we are proud of what we have achieved. 5,400 participants from 105 countries. 400 speakers, 75 sporting champions, 40 ministers and senior government representatives, 730 media, 1,200 student ambassadors from 134 schools and universities around the world. The media impact was huge, 3,000 print articles reaching an audience of 1 billion people. And I was just told before coming on stage that our application, the Doha Goals Community Connect application, is already sign up 800 participants, and more than 100 meetings, one-on-one -on -one meetings, happened this afternoon before even the forum started. So thank you for being so committed to what we're trying to achieve. And I would like to say good afternoon or good morning or good night to all the people who are watching us live on, uh, on the net. But those figures pale behind the real reason of the Doha Goals Forum, to spur a community into achieving more. After all, it is not that the lesson we are all taught in sport when we are young, that as a team, we can achieve miracles. So 800 initiatives suggested in 30 months. Other than then I first, we want that number to increase dramatically. This year, we have extended the forum from two days to two and a half days. We have introduced a new concept of open space, where you, our community, will choose the topics you want to discuss. And our task forces will produce the ideas for the next year of initiatives. Some of these require government's help. And some of them can be implemented at a community or school level, but all of them are designed to use sport to help us achieve more. But don't think for a moment we are resting, because more than statistics, we have listened to you and why you think Doha Goals Forum is relevant. It's always a pleasure to be here, and, uh, and one of the reasons for that is because when you come back every year, um, you, see, you, you see some progress connections, learning new stuff, meeting new faces, and, and really leaving the place smarter than I am today. And I'm sure it will happen. I hope that uh, the people learn to, to be uh, peaceful for, uh, for uh, doing something good for the world. What I'm hoping to get out of Doha goes is uh, learn a lot more about what other people are doing and how we can come together and continue to put sports in the forefront and how sports unite people. I'm networking and I'm here to share and to learn. And I know people are here from all over the world and I'm here from Jamaica where we recently set up Jamaica Sport. So we have a foundation there doing a lot of great work and it's gonna be an incredible experience. And sports can play such a central role. And here at Doha, we have people from all over the world committed to this goal and it's exciting to be part of that. It is something that we put ourselves together. I think what everybody wants out of sport, which is a bridgehead through to so many different areas of discussion, sport impacts on virtually everything that we do. I'm, I'm looking forward very much to connecting with people who have a great influence on what makes this 
one of the greatest experiences of life, how it elevates us, how it crushes us, how it connects us all, and how it sometimes it can mean more than anything else in your life. To meet people who are interested in the same kinds of uh, areas that I'm interested in, marketing, commercial development of sport, uh, business strategy in sport. It is a great platform that brings world leaders and great athletes, just wonderful people together. And I just hope for a very good experience and that we can um, get some good ideas to make changes um, for sport in society. And I hope to inspire people to get inspired and to, I don't know, to get a roadmap of a better world for disability sports. And now I would like to pass the baton to our good friend Jonathan Edwards, who is on the forum's advisory board and has been with us from the start of this very exciting journey. Jonathan, 